This feels like Tulum, yeah? Yeah. The Tulum Deep Tribal Organic Production Suite has just been released on Lotus Tunes. And as a way to celebrate its release, I'm going to show you how to use these sounds today. Let's dive in. So how would I start a track using Tulum? First, let's go through a couple of the drums because I do like to put together a rhythmic foundation first. How about we go for some tribal loops, right? Ooh, tribal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this one, put it in my audio track and reduce the volume a bit. It's kind of fast. Let's go for one, two, one, but I still feel like it's quite a quick loop. So let's use auto pan to create a bit of rhythmic variation. Set the amount to 100% rate, maybe to one eighth and then increase the phase either to 360 or zero shape. Maybe make it triangular. Cool. Now we can change the rate. Interesting. You can get really interesting grooves using auto pan. Let's fill out this groove by adding some subtle percussion loops on top. These, these are meant to be a bit finer. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Feels very Afro-y. Let's dial down the volume here and hit play. And now I feel like we could add a bit of a shaker loop to the background. Sure, let's just go for this one straight from the start. Hit play. Reduce the volume on the main tribal loop here. We don't want the shakers to be too loud. Just want them to support the rhythm a bit. Give it a bit of speed. Now I'm gonna add in a kick right here. Let's actually drag these sequencers here. Call this one kick and double click this section here. Now I'm gonna go for a kick that sounds interesting to me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have some here. Interesting. Let's take this one, drag it into our MIDI clip. And now what we're gonna do is create a kick pattern. So four to the floor should be correct. There we go and loop this one up here. Dial down the volume a bit and hit play. Adjust the start position of the sample. Change it to one shot mode. Oops, I'm create a fade here. And now we can create some rhythmic variation. Switching the rhythms here. More like it. We can always switch out the kick by using hot swap mode. Yeah, this one's slightly more flat. Interesting still though. Let's group all of our percussion into a channel here and add a compressor onto it. Open it up, sidechain input pump kick, reduce the threshold, maybe reduce the ratio just a bit here. It's calling SC drums, so sidechain drums. Let's see if we can make some adjustments to the drums. Because I feel like there's a click here on the main percussion that's interfering with the kick. It's like, da, 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 da. that's why I don't like when the percussions are playing simultaneously with the kick. I like them to be in between the kick. You can see this rhythm here. It almost has a kick inside. So what we could do to combat that is create a bit of a different curve. Mess around with the shape. Maybe even with the face, so it pans more. Or 
or maybe we could switch out the sample entirely at this point. So we're going to right click, shorten browser. I like this one. Feels very organic. So let's close the drums group again. And what I usually like doing after I have the main drums together is add in a top loop that glues all of these drums together again. So then I would reduce the cue level here, play my loop, go through the individual tops. Cool, but let's adjust the cue level a bit more. This one seems very simple. Let's add it in. Let's put it outside the sidechain drums group. We don't want this one to be sidechained. Very organic. I like it. Let's add an ambience and texture sound to make it feel even more organic. Let's add this glue drums texture here. These ones should be very quiet. Very nice. Let's add some more toms. See? Kind of like this one. Let's add that in here, reduce the volume. We'll do some rough mixing on the side. What I'd like to do now is add some type of atmosphere to my intro. So let's imagine this is the intro that I'm currently constructing. I'd like to have some type of ambient background texture. And I could use some of these fillers and ear candies to get some melodics out of these sounds. Let's see. This one's cool. Let's drag it in here. I like that major vibe, that happy vibe that we're aiming for. So what I'm going to do to this channel is add an echo and increase the feedback like to around around 100%, not above, but around 100%. Give it a play. get an idea. Gives us a bit of a vibe. Now what I would like to do though is add some type of delay. Let's go for delay. Put it on four bar mode. Disable echo. Give it a play. There we go, that's our texture. Let's change it to three. That's our texture right there. I'm gonna create an audio track, audio from track nine. Record arm this track here. Record. again. Give it a play. There we go. That should be enough though. Let's disable the infinite loop here. 
go into our, our recording and select our favorite spot that we want to loop. I think it's this one over here. Let's disable the old layer. Yeah, now we're just gonna have to find the right spot to play. Maybe it's over here. Yeah. Let's increase the loop here. There we go. And now we can add the echo that we've used on this layer. Let's not cut it, let's copy it. Take away the delay here. Copy. Paste. Let's add a high cut. Maybe with a bit of a resonance here. And let's unmute this layer here. Let's also give it a high cut. We got ourselves a vibe going. So let's group these drums, no SC, no side chain. We can put the tom in there too. And call these mellow slash at mo make this one yellow here and let's make this guy loop not every four bars but every eight bars D major right now. See if we can add a song starter. Cool. Bye <laughs> We might leave that one for later though. I don't know about it just yet. Sounds cool. Oh yeah, this one's nice. I'm inspired to add it in. We need to add it into an audio track. Like a background melodic texture, just really soft in the background. You can barely hear that melodic texture in the background, but it's still there. It still gives it a bit of a vibe. A bit of a, a bit of a. Let's keep on playing the loop. Let's stay in that inspired flow. Let's see. Cool. All day I friggin' dream. This is vibey, bro. Let's 
let's add these effects that we've previously used on our melody onto the atmospheric swell. Add a bit more of those highs. I like this. Very nice. What else we got here though? Dude. Yes. It's in minor, but hey, it still works. I still feel like it's the right sound to use. Clean out the sound a bit more. Take out those peaks. You can see a lot of peaks here. For now, let's take away the atmosphere. Maybe we can use that later. Really like Tim Green, Amonita, Makebo. This is how this feels like right now. I don't know if we have any sounds here, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we might get back to that. Let's see, we have a bass on here. Yes, dude. We even have a bass line. Here. This feels like Tulum, yeah? Yeah. So I just want the marimba to be a texture, not really a melody that dominates the groove. Very nice. Maybe we can throw in some more ear candy. It's a different key. That's the one we've already used. <laughs> That's cool. So this is, let's say, the ear candy. Put this one here. All right, so I'm gonna utilize the follow functions now. So these play automatically back and forth without me having to switch them. This is pretty cool in the session view. I'm just gonna have to double click one of these sounds over here, the top one, preferably. And then we are going to go into follow actions right here. This is this little play button. Follow action. Next. So right now you can see that this little play button turns into one that has stripes instead of one that looks like this. And this means that we've implemented a follow action. And now we're going to have to do the same with the bottom one. So we're going to double click this sound. Follow action. And instead of going to next we are going to go into previous. So it's going to play the previous sound after this one, which is our first melody. So both of these now have a follow action. Let's see how it sounds. So after eight bars of this playing, it's going to finish first. Notice how it's blinking here. So after it finishes, this is going to play automatically. And notice how this one's blinking now. That means the follow action is going to play that one afterwards. And it's running on autopilot right now. See? So I still have ear candy in my track without having to automate or touch anything. This is a vibe, dude.
feel like I could add a bit of that Spanish vibe now. Let's make it this. So these vocals are recorded in one to one BPM. Let's make sure that it's on one to one. phrases here make sure that we're all on the right bpm for each and every single one and let's go through the follow actions so follow next follow next <laughs> next and there should be one that's called first so it jumps to the first one here too let's give it a play That's so cool. Noche. Let's make this one Luz. four. Can we do that here? Desierto. Oh, length. Yeah. So it's in, Luna. in the right phrasing. Luna. background. All right. I feel like I could record the idea that we have going on now. So let us hit stop twice. And now what we're gonna do is make sure that all clips are stopped here too. So hit on the stop, <laughs> hit on the stop. Ooh. <laughs> and what's really important before you record your session, which is in the session view, you gotta hit tab and you gotta make sure that this loop is disabled because if it's enabled, it's gonna ruin your recording and it's gonna record the entire track in a loop. You don't want that. It just happened to me, which is why I'm re-recording <laughs> re this section here. Let us hit record and then hit play. Double check by hitting tab. It's recording properly. There we go. Make sure the loop is off. Let's take away the kick here. Let's increase the volume on the pad. Stop all clips and yes. Let's delete both of these tracks here. We don't need them now. That's enough for me. The rest I can do in the arrangement view. So we're gonna hit tab, switch to the arrangement view, make sure that we drag everything onto the right grid here. Looking quite good. And let us take this section here, duplicate it over so it's clean. And now we're gonna hit play. Drag out our clips here.
All right, so everything sounds good at this point. What I would just like to do is subtract a few elements from the intro, like the bass line, since we don't need that just yet. These pads, let's add them later for melodic variation. And the toms, we can remove those too. Where are those? Toms, toms, toms. Let's take those away. Let's actually take away a few more elements, like the vocals here. We don't need those just yet. And take away those ear candy fill melodies. So let's take away this. I'm going to do some quick arranging here. Take away the marimba, not entirely. So I want to add the bass line after the break. It usually hits harder then. transition sound. I have a few of those in the drum fills channel here, shaker fills. Yeah, with a bit of a vocal inside, which is cool. Let's take that, reduce the volume, and place it accordingly. Let's go. Make sure that it's unwarped. place it properly. Maybe a conga fill too. Let's place it here though, maybe a bit of a longer one. Let's decide where to place our elements. Now let's add an echo to this guy so it feels smoother. No, sorry. Now let's just look for another conga fill. This one could be interesting. A bit more like it. fill on top. Just gotta find the right one. In it out a bit more. from the intro. Take away the bass from the kick. I feel like the vocals, we could add those in the break. Oops. Yeah. Let's simplify the envelope here. Simplify envelope. A 
adjust the placement here so it fades into the drop. So we could take away the top loops in the intro, which is always good. Sounds are cool. Let's give it another play from here. This is pretty freaking cool. Let's extend this entire section here so we have a bit of a longer drop. And let's fade in the marimba here. duplicate this entire section here. Simple arrangement hack, bro. <laughs> There's some serious organic house here, bro. Now I could automate the background pad a bit more. Th this session is not color-coded at all really messy but hey who cares Place more filler sounds in between in key, preferably. Vibe switch. But for the sake of keeping the video short, I'm going to construct an outro. heavy elements first then fade out the melodics like the marimba command shift D Same for this melodic atmosphere in the background. So we just want to left, be left with the drums at the end, right? And ideally, whatever I'm doing with the outro right now, I would copy paste to the intro so I have a longer track. Et voilà. So let's see.
But I feel like we could keep it this way though. Maybe fade out those or fade in those melodics a bit more. Like this one and this one. If you want to increase the track in its length, you could take entire sections like these, the tension release, tension release sections, and implement those multiple times throughout the track, and add variations into the break each and every single time you create these tension release phases. So it doesn't ever feel the same. But for the sake of keeping this video rather short, and concise, I decided to keep it this way. So tension, Mel melodies, melodies, melodies. Taking away the base from the from the sides. Perhaps add a bit of saturation. Maybe add a bit of OTT. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. I don't really like adding OTT too much because it can ruin your mix. Maybe just by 7% for the saturator. Adds a lot of highs. Yeah. All of these sounds are in the Tulum Deep Tribal Organic Production Suite out now. Feel free to grab them using the links down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.